How's it going guys? We are back in the video here and I will be ranking all 10 of the gem MSP cards in Angel 23 Hut. Let's get into it. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you have not already. So starting off with number 10 and it's a goalie. It's Connor Hellebuck. I'm sorry. This Hellebuck card, Hellebuck in general for some reason is just so inconsistent. That's the one thing I don't like about him. And goalies again, to me, it really doesn't matter too much. Just find any goalie that for the most part, you know, makes more saves than he doesn't. It, it's just... It's just kind of silly. I don't know. Like it, it's hard, hard to me for me to really like say a goal is going to be a top five from an MSP ranking. It's just hard because, again, he'll make unreal saves, Halibut. He really will. But then all of a sudden, he just get, he'll just gonna be like stuck in the net and won't move or something. And, and but that's that's pretty much every goalie, which really sucks. Goalies this year are a nightmare and. Hellbuck's really no different, uh, in my opinion, unfortunately. But again, he's 6'4", 207. He's got post to post, no timer, x-ray, sponge, and then goal butterfly effect. Goal butterfly effect, that's good. But unfortunately, it just doesn't really do much here. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I just don't know. I'm, I'm really not sure uh, Hellbuck here, like, really, if he's worth it. I mean, I'd, I put him number 10. But again, it's, uh, it's, it's all really what you want. If you need a goal with that, that's really then maybe take a chance on Hellbuck. Number nine, we got Patrick Hornquist. I was not a big fan of undersized forwards for the most part. Uh, I mean, Hornquist is not bad for sure. He's obviously got maxed out uh, skating, which is, is really solid, but or close to it. 99 Excel at 98 speed if you activate buzzing. But I don't know. I'm not that crazy about this card. Uh, maybe it's just, I don't know, Hornquist in general. He's not even 200 pounds, 5'11". Uh, as a winger, right? He can only play wing. So, uh, again, that makes him even more, to me, useless. So, uh, I don't know. Hornquist, for me, guys, uh, he's a solid card for sure. But comparing it to the other MSPs in this event, I mean, there are so many good Master Set player items. It's pretty absurd. So, yeah, I mean, for me, I mean, he got silver, no contest, close quarters, total eclipse, big tipper, gold truculence. Again, if you want to have fun with him, you know, maybe activate gold truculence, run around, just crush people. Okay, I can understand that. But other than that, Hornquist for me comes in at number nine. Number eight, I believe I had Klingberg a lot higher in my other list uh, because, I mean, I, I really did like him. I had him actually at number three. Uh, but really, I like him. But my only issue, though, with him is his abilities. If he had better defensive abilities, he'd be a better card. But realistically, Klingberg is not a very good defensive player, right? He's more offense. So totally get it, uh, but he's a great card, right? So he either has 99 speed or 99 acceleration, depending on what synergy choice you go with. Those are his synergy options right there. But again, it just all depends what you want to activate on him. Good card though, for sure. Yeah, not, a, not a bad card at all. 6-3, again, 190, heat seeker, seeing eye, 1T, tape to tape, and gold elite edges. I mean, they're not horrible abilities by any means. I'm just trying to say that I feel compared to the other cards, the defensive abilities are just not there, which is the unfortunate part. Maxed out shot, great hands, uh, almost maxed out by checking. I'm sure you could definitely activate that with the right synergies being activated. But again, it's uh, it all depends what you want. I mean, he's more of an offensive right-handed defenseman. Do you want that? Or do you want the other one that's on this list that's, to me, one of the best right D in the game now? He's very good, but John Klingberg for me is number eight. Then we got number seven, Essa Lindell. 6'3", 220 though. Left-handed defenseman. Excellent abilities here. So he's got buzzing, spark, fly the zone, wingman, or workhorse. So again, another card that you can either have 98 acceleration or 98 speed, depending on what you want to go with. But I would say acceleration is pretty important for defense, such as my opinion, though. Uh, great shot for a defensive defenseman. He's got silver no contest, silver stick him up, silver uh, bouncer here. He also has silver ice pack, and then gold shutdown. Gold shutdown, I mean, that's just really, really solid to have on him. It really is. The gold shutdown, uh, this makes it just this card so solid defensively. And that's really what you're getting from Lindell. I mean, you, you want a card that's going to shut it down defensively? Well, Lindell will be that guy for you on the left side. So many good left-handed defensemen, though. That's the only questionable thing about Lindell. But uh, really, three and three, he's a, he's a great card. Number six, we got Andre Palat here. Six foot, 194, lefty here. And again, a very important thing to know. Uh, you know, he's got good abilities, all right? So he's got close quarters. Uh, to me, elite edges and wheels could be decent. No contest is not bad either. Uh, but again, he's got maxed out skating, right? Which is awesome. Maxed out shot. He's got a gold truculence again. Another kind of like player like Hornquist a little bit, but he's a little bit taller, which is why I like him a little bit more than Hornquist. Uh, and again, it just, it, and it's obviously maxed out everything skating wise, but 
it just depends, right? I mean, Pala is another guy. He's just a winger strictly, right? So you can't really get too excited about him. But uh, he's a, a strictly a winger. Uh, and I, I'm a fan, though. I'm a fan. A lot of wingers, honestly, this event. Not many uh, centermen here, uh, for sure. But I like Pala a lot. I do. I, I think he's a solid card, for sure. Uh, just more of a... A guy that I feel like it's more of a, if you're a Lightning fan, Devils fan, if you're a Pala fan, you probably want to get him. Other than that, he's not really that much better than other cards uh, when it comes to just in general wingers, but um, I like him overall. To the top five, we got Kaprizov now at number five. 5'10", 202 though. Left-handed, maxed out everything. Uh, he's got silver close quarters, silver snipe, silver unstoppable force though, silver seeing eye, and gold elite edges. So really, really good abilities on him. That really helps maybe his size being a little bit of a of an issue, but I don't really think it is. He's, got, he's 202. Again, the weight is a, poor, a very important stat in my opinion. Uh, it makes a difference. It really does. So max out skating, max out shot, love the unstoppable force on him, and the close quarters. I'd certainly activate those two, uh, but... Kaprizov, to me, one of the better wingers out there right now. You can get 98 overall. Might as well be a 99 overall. It's kind of the same thing. Number four, we got Mark Stone. In my previous video going over the new cars, I didn't actually realize you can activate this guy to have a very good speed. So you could have him actually at 98 speed and 97 acceleration. So I apologize on that. I, I was kind of messing up on that. I think I was going a little bit too quick. But Stone's excellent. 6'3", 217, right-handed winger here. No contest. Sick him, sick him up. Yoink unstoppable force and gold close quarters great great abilities on him too uh again strictly a winger a great defensive winger as well but a, a defensive winger that can certainly shoot the puck and can certainly skate with the best on them 98 speed or 97 excel and 97 excel that's very good so uh, mark stone for me is a top four card no questions asked Top three now. I got Anders Lee. Anders Lee at 6'3, 235 pounds. Left handed winger. Yet again, a lot of wingers. He could technically play center because his face offs are really high at 91, but I'd play him at wing for the most part. Uh, he's another one I kind of messed up. He actually can have 97 Excel and also 98 speed. Uh, I like him a little bit better because he's a little bit bigger than Stone. Max out shot. He's got great abilities too with make it snappy. Snipe, 1T unstoppable force and then gold close quarters so really great abilities on him too a lot of these msps have great abilities no doubt about it especially the last uh, top five i would say but hittersley is one of the better cards out there right now when it comes to size when it comes to speed his shot just truly truly solid here all around so i'm a big fan of uh, vanders lee and, and let's move on to number two and now for me, the best one that obviously is not the 99, Josh Manson, 6'3", 218, right-handed defenseman, right? So to me, he's got 97 acceleration, 98 speed, everything else is 99 in his skating, his shot's maxed out, his abilities are top tier, he's got thunderclap, stick him up, he's got bouncer, ice pack, and then shutdown. If he had truculence, I mean, then forget it. I mean, this card would be just absolutely absurd, but it already is ridiculous in my opinion, so... Josh Manson, so I feel that, again, there's not as many good right-handed defensemen. He's certainly better than a Klingberg, uh, and I think he's a guy that you kind of must make if you need a right-handed defenseman. I'm going to make Manson, no question about it. I have to. I'm, I'm, I have, I'm using 92 Shea Weber. I mean, that's that's pretty silly. So for me, Manson is definitely a must-make, and he's the best one outside of the 99. Speaking of the 99, a card that I also have to make is 99 Tage Thompson. 6'6", 220 pounds right-handed, maxed out everything, every stat is a 99, except for his fighting skill. I mean, just so, so good. Silver close quarters, silver make it snappy, silver tape the tape, silver quick draw, silver 1T, gold elite edges. I mean, this Tate Thompson card is just absolutely broken and so, so good. If you're a Sabres fan, it's a must. And honestly, it's a must for me. I'm not even a Sabres fan. He's just so, so so good. So yeah, Tate Thompson, and uh, that's uh, that's my list. All right. I mean, overall, I got one Thompson, two Manson, Lee is three, Stone four, Kaprizov five, Palat six, Lindell seven, Klingberg eight, Hornquist nine, and Hallibuck is number ten. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching the video. Hope you did enjoy. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you have not already. Follow me on Twitch, Henrik, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrik with three E's. And join the Discord to talk to me, followers, and subscribers of the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.